Hey everyone! I've decided that I'm going to be making these videos every week now because I found out that the latter half of this season is going to be aired later in this year. So it won't be 20 videos in a row. This is going to be all spoilers, so if you haven't watched the episode yet, please go do that. Again, I'm going to be summarizing this episode and then going into some specifics and my thoughts on it. There are basically three major storylines in this episode. One is in England, where the nobles of Mercia have revolted against Queen Gwentwith, and she is being held hostage. King Egbert sends his son Aethelwulf and an army to retrieve her and her son Magnus. Meanwhile, Egbert helps Judith. She wants to become a painter and study the sacred text, but as a woman she's officially not allowed to. Egbert finds a Frankish monk called Prudentius, and initially he is against teaching her, but under pressure of Egbert, the bishop orders him to do it. In Francia, Rollo advises Count Odo on how to beat the Vikings on water. Count Odo is not very happy with the idea that all this glory will again go to the Emperor. He thinks the Emperor is pretty weak, and he confesses this to Therese. Therese is a sort of spy, and she tries to get information out of him that she in, in turn relays to her husband, who is also a noble. In Kattegat, Floki escapes with the help of Helga. Ragnar knows about this, but he doesn't blame her. He understands her peril, and he gives her some food to take care of herself and her daughter Angerboda through this winter. Uba leads the searching parties, and they find Floki again. They bring him to Ragnar, and Ragnar keeps giving him chances, but Floki just throws them away. Auslog defends Floki's deeds, but Ragnar hits her, and he's just really not happy that she doesn't understand his motives. Finally, we see Floki tied up in a cave, much like Loki's punishment in the sagas, and we see Helga digging a grave. It turns out to be for Angerboda. Ragnar finds her, and they bury her together. So this episode had it all. It had excitement with the battle and the searching for Floki. It had happiness when Gwentrith was saved and Judith's wishes were granted. And it had sadness with Helga's situation and Angerboda's death. I loved it once again. Aside from the major storylines, I really liked all the little things that we got in this episode that made the story much more real and bigger, um, such as Prudentius showing how the Frankish tasted wine. Another thing that stood out to me was the flanking style of attack that Aethelwulf and his army used. Uh, we saw this back in Season 2 when King uh, Egbert and Ele were working together and fought against the Vikings and won. I just really love how they have now really adopted this um, Roman style of attack. Gwen Thrift, by the way, really knows how to hold her own, and I really like her as a character. She's so fierce. In terms of historical accuracy, I'm not very knowledgeable about this, but I did have some a few questions. Magnus, um, son of Gwen Thrith, we don't really know much about him yet. I've tried to look up if he was, like, inspired by anyone, and there are some kings of Norway that are called Magnus, but I don't think we know enough yet in order to say if he is really based on one of them or if he's based on any, anyone else. Also, in Mercia's army there were some women. I think this was done under the influence of Gwentrith, who obviously really um, holds the Vikings to a high standard. But in terms of historical accuracy, I'm not really sure if this was very realistic. For comic relief, again, we have Rollo, who basically acted like a giant child this entire episode. Not only when he get, gets his hair cut, he just acts like a big baby there. But also he explains his strategies for beating the Vikings to Count Odo with these toys and it's, it looks like play therapy. And he includes even the sound effects of the little boats. So that was pretty funny. I did feel really bad though when Gisla came in and just laughed him in the face. And the last thing of this episode that I wanted to talk about was Ragnar and Helga's relationship. I feel that Ragnar really gets along well with Helga. They both really understand Floki like no one else does. And I think Ragnar feels really bad for the way Floki treats Helga, and he really cannot blame her for freeing him. Ragnar obviously has Helga and Angerboda in mind when he devises his plan for, you know, Floki's punishment. I think their understanding of each other in this episode especially is really wonderful because they don't hate each other for the choices that they have to make and for the actions that have to that they have to take. They don't blame each other for it, and they understand what needs to be done. When Ragnar finds Helga digging a grave crying, I think that really hit Ragnar as well, not only because of Helga's situation, but also because he obviously lost a child as well. I'm really hoping that they keep this dynamic going. In terms of what's next, we're still waiting for Bjorn fighting the bear. We have now seen Floki's punishment as well. If we go by the sagas, that's basically Loki's punishment. So I expect to see Helga protecting him as much as she can, 
and it would make sense if Floki does end up living, but the preview of next episode does make me think otherwise, so I'm not sure about that yet. Egbert, Ele, and Gwenthrith should be putting forces together in order to regain the throne of Mercia, while Judith studies the sacred texts together with Prudentius. Now Prudentius is based on a real character. That character was also sort of going against the traditions of his time in terms of religion, so I'm thinking that's going to play a bigger role later in the in the season. Rollo seems to suggest that the fight for Paris will be somewhere in the next few episodes, at least in the first half of the season, um, but I'm expecting not until Bjorn gets back from his adventures. We haven't seen you do Lagertha or Kalf, so I'm assuming we'll see them next episode. That's all I got for now. I'd love to hear your input, so leave me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.